Tony from Six String Country here. If you'd like to be notified right when we release new lessons, subscribe on YouTube or like us on Facebook. Today we're going to look at The Long Way by Brett Eldridge. Brett wrote the song along with Matt Rogers and we are making kind of a custom six string country guitar arrangement here that's a little more guitar heavy than the original recording. We'll have that main acoustic part that we hear. The but we'll be covering some of those synth lines with the electric guitar using volume swells. And then we'll also throw in a really easy strum, all down strokes, uh, easy strum tutorial where we're just hanging on some pretty basic chords with this kind of feel that we can get through the whole song that way as well. strum option for the long way. This isn't apart from the record, uh, this is just if you're doing this solo acoustic and vocal or something like that or you're accompanying someone vocally with just an acoustic guitar, this would be a great option for you. It's just a little bit more full sound that will drive through the whole song. And it happens to be on the easy side. We're using capo 3 here. We've got key of G chords and since we're kind of making this up to be able to do this uh, a nice sturdy version on acoustic, you can play whatever kind of G you want. You'll see me thin out the G's a lot for this kind of stuff because I like this sound. Even taking the pinky off sometime and muting that high E string. I like that sound. But here's a standard G chord, third fret of low E, second fret, open, open, third, third. And then if you want to thin it out a little bit, just pull your pointer finger off and mute that A string. And same thing, sometimes if in the verses or uh, whatnot, you could take your pinky off and mute that high E string. And then you have this instead of which can be nice for these kind of chunking parts, okay? And so um, when we get to the intro, it does, is gonna start on this G chord. And then we're gonna move to a C chord, and I'll play a C2, which is the same as the G, except for moving these two fingers over one string each. So we have third fret of A, second fret of D, open G, third fret, third fret. And again, you'll see me thin that out on that Jam Along video, and I'll take my pointer finger off, and that D string is then muted. Or you could play it full. All right, and then we have a standard D chord, which is open D string, second fret, third fret, second fret. Okay, so for the intro, let's uh, get our fingers on the G chord and let's get the strumming down. We're going to use a couple accents, so it's not just... No, especially for this intro, we're going to use some palm muting here and we're going to accent certain beats to make it sound more like this. So for the palm mute portion of that, the, my right hand here, the flesh of my right hand is just barely resting on top of the strings right in front of the saddle. And then on my right, on the pick here, I'm accenting one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. For the studio acoustic tutorial, uh, we really just need to focus on learning a verse and a chorus, and then um, we'll know most of the song. We just have a couple little riffs in the bridge and the final chorus, um, but most of this part is this repeating pattern. We're gonna start with what we play over the intros and verses. Looks like this, two, three, four. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the electric guitar part for the long way. It's in B flat. We won't use a capo. We don't need a capo on this one. And we want some of these low notes on the fretboard. So we're going to leave the capo off. Uh, we can totally do this with our fingers. So we'll be playing out of this kind of position five pentatonic shape in B flat. Right? There's a B flat note, there's a scale. And the intro and first verse, we're going to be using these swells um, for several different parts of the song. We're swelling in on this shape right here, which is third fret, third fret. Just bar the whole third fret, but then put your pinky down on the sixth fret of the B string and swell it in. If you can do it with your pinky, if you have a Telecaster or a guitar with a volume knob right there, that's what I like to do. But if I'm playing a different guitar, sometimes you can't do that, so then you just have to use a volume pedal. And if you don't have a volume pedal or a guitar, um, with a knob that you can reach with your pinky, just kind of lightly strum through it. What we're doing here is mimicking the synth line. There's that kind of pulsing synth line going through this whole song. Where you 